What's up you guys, it's Anam Khan. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N stock. There's a great article that came out a few days ago by Investor Place. And this article talks about how the stock went up briefly after the purchase of the ELMS assets and then it's down again. So please like the video, subscribe to this channel, make sure you get your 10 free stocks using Weevil using my link below and let's get started. So I wanna make something very clear here, first of all. I'm not short this stock. I don't get paid by Hindenburg Research or anything. In fact, I actually own a few of these shares of MULN stock. And I think it's very healthy as investors to know the other point of view, to know the bear side of the story. And if you really believe in the stock, I think you would have great arguments to back it up and to fight those bear points of views. So I think it's very immature when people think that, oh, he's bought out, oh, he's short, just because they have opinions that are opposite of theirs don't put yourself in an echo chamber so to get started let's go over what this article has to say has to say so mullen stock started trading today at 20 cents per share with a market capitalization of 360 million dollars a year ago the stock was six dollars and 60 cents a share now here's something really important that they talk about as electric startups like lucid motors and rivian automotive have put cars into production and mainstream automakers like GM and Ford have moved into the sector, Mullen has been left at the starting gate. Now, there's something really important I wanted to touch on here. I love companies like Lucid and Rivian. I think their cars are beautiful. And quite frankly, I think their cars are probably better than Mullen Automotive's car. Now, one of my biggest concerns with Mullen Automotive is that they have a lot to prove still, man. Yes, they got a car, an example, but all these startups built cars. That's not that big of a deal. First of all, what differentiates Mullen Automotive from all the other EV cars? Ask yourself this question. What differentiates them? I think the biggest differentiator they have is that their price point is a lot lower, but the car isn't that special. Like Lucid has crazy range, and yeah, it's a really expensive car, very luxurious, but the range technology is insane. It's probably better than Tesla, quite frankly. And then Rivian is also pretty cool. But also ask yourself, who are the CEOs of these companies? Like Lucid Motors, the CEO of Lucid Motors is like the ex-Tesla chief engineer that built the Model S for Tesla. So he knows his stuff. He knows the EV game. And now ask yourself these questions about Mullen Automotive. Who is the CEO? Some guy who has experience in the music industry. And I'm not saying that, you know, he can't be successful. I'm just saying keep these things in mind. Don't be totally ignorant of these facts, all right? And so the article continues by saying that the company has also been promising to make commercial vehicles in Mississippi since buying uh, Bollinger Motors in September. But Mullen's most recent balance sheet dated in June showed that it just had $61 million. Mullen had to raise $150 million from current shareholders to buy EM ELMS. The place where they're gonna it's a plant that they're gonna build some of their cars on so this is important so the 61 million dollars in cash honestly guys is not enough to start producing vehicles and when i see companies like lucid motors and rivian which in my opinion they're almost on the brinks on the brink of collapse on the brink of brink bankruptcy it's just you need cash building a car is not the difficult part it's actually building it in mass production with a profit margin. Lucid and Rivian have zero profit margin. I'm willing to bet that Mullen Automotive probably has zero profit margin on their cars either. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this works out. Now, bears like Brendan Rurick, he's one of the authors, I guess, in the articles in this place, note that both ELMS and Bullinger were on their last legs when Mullen acquired them. And another sign that's not a good sign is that Mystery has sold 2.53 million shares of Mullen Automotive. That is never a good sign when a CEO does that. It usually means that they themselves don't believe in the company. Let me ask you a question. If you knew that the stock of your company is going to be worth more in the future because you truly believe in it, would you sell the shares? I don't think so. Now, Mystery still expresses confidence in Mullen, but the stock has been under the threat of delisting since, since September. I think a lot of you guys know this, that they are under trouble. They need to be over a dollar. They're not. It last traded over a dollar in July. So guys, I want to know what you guys think about this article. What are your opinions? I want to hear your point of views about why these points are moot. All right. You can't just tell me that 
you know, these these points are all, all old and irrelevant. I want to hear why they're irrelevant. Why aren't these important? Ask yourself these questions if you're going to invest in Molina Automotive. And again, be careful when trading in these companies, especially in a recessionary environment with high interest rates like we're in right now. With that being said, guys, see you guys in the next video. Peace.